How do you freaking doing, boys and ladies? Welcome back to a new episode of Alien Contact Armor 3 Unknown Contact. Some freaky shit going on. The alien roots are a million years old. That's a lot of talk. But this is episode, fear, uh, episode 4. Some exciting, creepy stuff. Ah, uh, you have been waiting for a while, I know, but uh, I have some other, other projects to finish. I have roommates, uh, has also some uh, video projects and stuff. Um, yeah. Let's get cranky, shall we? The weight of this thing! You better expedite, Rudd. Blue Bells are gonna realize their squad's not moving soon. Over. Yep, Wilco. I'm making tracks. Out. Rudd, Hinkley checked in. Apparently he's got... could probably work some magic. It's an autonomous weapon, so it'll have an M-Spec signature. Say between 390 and 500 megahertz. If you chance across a spike somewhere in that range, hit me up. Over. Copy. Can't we just avoid it? Over. Nope, not this one. The LT wants it gone. That thing's a pretty indiscriminate killer. A lot of our guys wandering around out there. We don't want them getting any free ballistic therapy. Oh yeah, and also we got intel on a burning wreck. Sapphire spotted it south of Scala. That's the hill, not far from where you are now. Could be a helo came down when that pulse hit. Might even be one of ours. Reckon you can swing by and see what's going on? Over. Roger. Providing I don't get my ass shot off screwing with the sentry gun. Out. Yeah. What the? Rudd, I got an update from Sapphire. The alien entity's gone quiet. Seems he's settled down someplace. How about you use the Spectrum device? Find out what he does. Maybe we can put things straight. You know, establish peaceful contact. Nope. I don't want to get mind fucked again. Over. Hey, don't be like that. I think he was reaching out to you. Anyway, chain of command. Corporal, specialist. <laughs> That's funny. You giving me orders now? Yeah, it's my prerogative, ain't it? Trace the signal and try a cultural exchange of some sort. Out.
Stein. I found him on the spectrum. Same signal. Sounds like a dolphin. You know, with the clicking and shit. You speak dolphin, Rudd? It ain't one of my six, pal. Sorry. Too bad. Stay with it. Let us know when you get eyes on. Out. Dolphin language. Okay, he's close by. Oh, Jack! I see it! He's here! He's all lit up! And, yeah, he's gone again. Over. Shit. He's a skittish little fella, ain't he? Can he fall up? Roger. I can't head him off. But he should be locatable. Out. Something like I did back at Point Hopi. Only minus all the bad stuff. Over. Copy. And uh, hey, the nerds here have a theory about the radio waves you sent out. They might be telemetric. You're saying this thing's automated? Like remote controlled? So who's operating it? Shit, I don't know. Maybe it's operating itself. Dr. Chopek thinks there's some connection with the mothership. And every time you transmit, you're interrupted, like an info. The thing is, you are getting their attention. Get a little closer. See if I can interact. Over. All right. Careful. Try and think nice thoughts at it. Sure. I'll do that. Stay off comms for a bit, okay? Out.
Yes, she's, she's not happy about uh, using them so many frequencies <laughs> on them on um, on the USAF channels. That's around 400 megahertz or something. Oh crap! Ah, oh, I should have got my sunglasses. Those are the same roots. What? Planets? Universes? That's epic! No, no, no! Stay here for a bit! Jack! Jack! It happened! There's some... Ah, oh, fuck. It's like I'm remembering and then... I don't know. No, no, he's gone. He jumped. I'm gonna move in though. See what he was doing. Wait out. Maybe he left a little uh, painting. Oh crap. Oh crap. Jack, you're definitely going to want to hear this. I got more of that levitating crap. An overturned World War II bunker at another route. The alien must have brought it up with its gravity tech. Over. I guess Dr. Kesson's right. And come all this way for that. You think you can get a soft tissue sample from it? I don't know. Can I? Yeah, now that's a question. Let me pass you over. Uh, over. Christ. Hello, Rockwell. Hello. I'd like to talk to you about a subterranean friend. Imagine what you see is an ordinary electric cable. There's the jacket, the insulation, and within that, a copper conductor. But unlike normal cable, the copper in this one has feelings. If it's exposed and you upset it, the inner wire retracts. Are you with me so far, specialist? Affirmative. Mm. What we need you to do is connect to Eddie and then maneuver him into a position where he can access a cavity in the outer casing. If you walk over yourself, our cable is going to get agitated and high for a while. This thing can see me? No, we can't see you, but it can sense your thermal signature. Once you've got Eddie's manipulator arm in place, and the lens is over a hole, grab a sample. So, not the laser, the other thing? Not the laser. A composition we already know. Or no, we don't know, rather. Mica with potassium atoms sandwiched between nanoscale layers of silk plus eco-franchium, which is really, really exciting. I bet. And so we're clear, I'm driving up and sticking it with a glorified cattle prod? Uh, yes, you've got the gist of it. Good luck. Over and out. I guess let's go. Did it go up there or something?
That's not my position. Dr. Chapek, you got any pointers you can share? Over. Okay, well, you've got to be close. And it's the inside you want to get that. If it's agitated, you might have to go away and wait a bit. Do what you did with that glowing orb near the factory. Just a quick poke. Over. Roger. I'll try and catch it. Out. I understand. I'm already doing it. Nothing happens. Uh, hey, Jack? Dr. Chapek? Whichever one of you's got the radio? Uh, we're about done. Over. Good. Grab Eddie and go. Sapphire just called in. He intercepted a message from the LDF. There's a squad closing in on your position. Move your ass. Over. Acknowledged. I'm taking off. Out. Okay. Okay, Eddie. That's one heavy bastard. It's better could be enemies incoming. Let's move back to the fan. Fuck, I don't remember exactly where the fan is. Where's that cabin? Shit! Let's follow the road then. There's a van here. It's gonna be LDF patrols about. Time it right.
Oh, ze worden boos ineens. Is dat te hard? Roek, scheisse. Is hij plat? Ik weet niet. Dat is denk ik fijn aan de backup. Oh nee, ik zie niks. Die car was niet alles uit op de field with backup. There it is. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Ik heb hem nog geen goed hulk. Oh god, zo'n single mij. Daar links is zo'n hulk in. Impossible, dude. Jack, I'm close. If this thing's tamper-proof. <laughs> I remember. shit that I gotta do tonight. Man, we owe you one. Hey, you're a fucking legend. Sure, stay off the roads and don't go back to Kresnik. There's no one there. We're staying on the move. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Dat is een groot granaat, ik, ik heb er niks aan. Waarom moet ik die eerst gooien en dan pas de granaat? Oh, die zijn op. 
Jack, I'm close. If this thing's tamper-proof... It's not. Like I said, bust it up. Did I do it? Yo, Brad, you done? Affirmative, yeah. I think it's broke. Over. Nice one. Get out of there and follow up on that other thing. <sighs> I thought I had to have control grenade on my son of a bitch. Hij is weg. Hij zat op de boom. Crap. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking die! I'm gonna fucking die! Holy shit, I lost. I used their robot against them. Uh, it's gonna kill you as well if you're not careful. Heel tijd it opvoeren misschien. Dat helpt ook wel vaak. Oh shit! Dat is het groepje dat ik op de kaart zag. Daar zijn ze. Hij is neer. Die andere is ook neer. neer. Oeh, dat was een lot of enemies. Vanaf hier kan ik die drone besturen zonder dat ik gezien word.
Okay, I think I can see what you're getting at. Guess I'm taking R&R &R in quarantine. Thanks for the pep talk there, Doc. It's real appreciated. Out. Okay. Right, well, just got word from the LT. Guess what? The Livonians fixed the grid. There's power. Generators kicked in at the Lomitsa substation. The electronics still won't work, but the actual AFR towers will. They're grounded. Lightning protection. We can get a message to Yukon. How fucking copy. Over. Mm. Solid copy. Great. All right. You got an RV? Over. Affirmative. Ditch the robot if you want. We are leaving. Out. Yes, it sits for floating uh, branches. <laughs> Some weird shit. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh. He is going to south. Let's go southbound. I've been here before, so he doesn't show me anymore where to go. He just goes away to a different position where he was before. Niet normaal, anders deze plek is zonder mist. It's unbelievable how different this place is without mist. A place can really sh look very different when uh, mist is there. I thought this was just a random unknown base, but this is actually a NATO base that was been here before. I didn't really uh, expect that. All right, bud. Let's do that. Hey, you good? Yeah. Where's Sapphire? They're already up the hill at the radio tower. And the LDF? I don't know. They just went. Can't you leave the damn van? No, we need it. If we're gonna get out of here, it's gotta be incognito. Baker's just fixing the flat. Go on ahead. Find Lieutenant Kingsley. Tell him we're on our way. I guess it's over there. <laughs> Big fat tower. That's oh, a different one. The FPS is really poor because uh, I don't know, the game is just not like too many objects to end the same time. I don't know. When, when uh, lots of enemies are in the area, the game are bogged down big time of our objects. This game needs some serious optimization. I have an Intel PC, it's not, uh, it's not optimized for OpenGL games.
I, I, I cannot get above 24 FPS. This is just high settings, not even ultra. Oh my god, I see the big ship. Your local radio station, bud. <laughs> oh crap, I think he's angry about that. Ah, this thing looks ever creepy. He's just shifting all the time. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> He's not liking this terrible. <laughs> oh shit! I'm He's gonna send a probe and freaking zap me in the ass. He just keeps swifting. Okay, I think it's time to stop playing around. Let's blow it up. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not that evil. It's like a freaking squid. Ugh. Damn. Anyone at home? Real sadness. Oh shit. Okay, this one is locked up. There's a freaking prison at the radio station tower? You're kidding me, right? This is the broadcast station for the uh, LDF or something. Extension cords all over the place. I'm gonna leave my drone in the car because this thing is heavy, man. Oh, that's better. I feel like 20 pounds lighter. Hey, the light stopped here. Hmm, that's weird. 
Who the, f who the heck are they? I think they're friendly because they're not shooting at me now. Lieutenant Kingsley. Jesus. Oh. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, likewise. You're not with the corporal? No, nah, he's at the intersection, bottom of the hill. Should be here any second. We got a flat. You get any data? Samples. From the underground routes. In case they're a bio threat or something, I don't know. No, that's great work. So, we got power now? Yeah. Just gotta flick the transfer switch. It's still routing from the emergency generator, which was out of diesel from the get-go. Honor's all yours. Throw the lever on the wall over there. <laughs> yeah, after days, uh, of course, the diesel runs out. Forces Radio, live on the air. Hope you're right. We just lit ourselves up like a Christmas tree. Overpowered, I think. It's not uh, letting it through. It'll blow the final uh, transform or something. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna broadcast a message to the aliens or some shit. I know it looks really bad. I don't know. This game is just not optimized. What should we type? I need to just plug in an audio file. Red button and shit. Here goes. So, are we transmitting yet or what? Uh, uh, no, no. not yet. No. This is an emergency broadcast. Electronic equipment disrupted. Severe damage to all communication. Uh, I press the emergency. Alpha Foxtrot Oscar. Request immediate assistance at Camps Conrad and Tresnik. Relay Over to address tonight. group North Star. Don't shoot. Authentication Coming up is on the compound. November Sierra. Ultimate Day Station. Flash. This we is an company. emergency broadcast. Electronic equipment disrupted. Severe like damage to attention. all communication. Over. Trunk Copy. network down. Confirm sighting of Alpha Fox Strike Oscar. Request R immediate assistance at Camps Conrad and Tresnik. Relay to address group North Star. Authentication is... Crap, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, piss off. <gasps> I don't need this thing rearranging my brain, Jack. Just do it. This is our last chance if we want to make meaningful contact. Yeah. Show them we're not all gun toting idiots this time. No one engage if front wheel goes down. I'm tuned in in case he wants to talk. Oh, my van is turned upside down! <laughs> I should park this in the garage. Uh, yeah, my robot is still in there. <laughs> you, you're not gonna laser my ass, don't you? Don't you? That looks organic, it's so scary. Even the, the street light goes as well because it's pulse is so strong.
There's a second lulb. Okay, uh, if, if he wants to talk, I have my radio set on uh, <laughs> 476 megahertz, so if you don't have a speaker you can talk through there. <laughs> this time he doesn't laser me like... Yeah, that, that transmission tower is powerful. Uh, maybe using 9000 watts of uh, broadcasting power. Oh wait, that's FM. It's lower, I think. Okay. Can we locate to an alien entity? How? I have only these two, these options. Maybe he, he is on the norm on the HF. The X is pointing all over the place, I don't know. I was here, but he doesn't. Oh, maybe it's maybe some more distance because I'm getting the the little force field that the fences uh, surroundings. But oh wait, I can do stuff. But that's only army communication to to go places. I'm just gonna broadcast that music again. There's nothing else. Music and science is a is a multiple infinite language way to make friendly contact. Science is pretty universal and music as well. It's is a universal language. It it shifts emotions. And with science you make things make sense and uh, te and
I just played a whole song. Just Lithuania's typical uh, classy music, I guess. I cannot tell if he chase he's, if he's chasing his mood or something. Let's try a different song. Maybe he likes this one better. Hey, I'm really aiming on his uh, frontal part where the old tennis brat might be his eye. Maybe there's more frequencies. It goes through 390 to 500. Maybe there's more. That's a pretty wide range of him. That's no, it's limited. We need a different antenna for the other spectrums. He is shifting frequencies. Drone filmware. He says he said drone filmware in the tag. That's one English word he is uh, saying via the, the 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 digital ping system in, in radios. You saw the live? I don't like... I like this song better, that's from uh, Russia I think. Martian Classics always so nice. On Especially in winter. <gasps> he changed his altitude. This sounds like digital language for uh, alien uh, life. Of course, being an unknown language, there's no decoder for it. <laughs> it has to be learned by somebody and program a decoder for it. Let's let's swap antennas. Maybe he's broadcasting on voice frequency. It's not on. The noise is from the freaking light. Oh wait, there is something there. Okay. I'll just keep on the uh, UHF on Samma. He's 
testing me as well. I'm gonna broadcast it as weak as frequencies he is offering. Oh wait, there's now four. He's flashing when I'm on the frequency, I think. You see that? He knows I'm listening in. Or is it just random? The lights scroll down when he... No, it's the same on this one. It's doing the same. I thought it was uh, responsive. This is propulsion or something. It's all just... It's the same all the time. Broadcasting a swift in frequency. Better than better if you if you getting hallucinations, just lay down the guns, you know, in case somebody hallucinates something weird and starts shooting. Just lay down the freaking guns and turn the safety on because he is trusting us, I think. He switch he switches uh, his uh, comms transmitters off. Whoa! I guess it's time for a new VGU. Looks like a planet and a sun. With roots. We got a universe with multiple links. A Milky Way. We got a mothership in mountains. And roots in the bottom. Well, some beautiful things. <laughs> Paper, you coming round? Rod, man, talk about taking one for the team. Jesus, my head. You hit it when you fell. Trust me, though, you'll live. Come on, up and at him. I should have lain down when I'm doing this. Because I fell on my head when it happened. Lost balance. How long I've been out? Long enough. The boomer's gone, and the Russians are here. Damn it! Yeah, and worse, they're not the fucking problem. We're on a razor's edge. You, me, them. I don't like a sketch of uh, the mothership. Captain Severov needs to speak to you. He's having trouble explaining shit in English. Captain who? Captain Severov, the guy with the cab over by the gate. Ah, uh, if this happened to me, I would, I would make. Lots of sketches and stuff. Spend lots of time to never forget uh, the awesome, strange moment. I don't trust Russians ever. Yeah. My name is Captain Severov, 223rd Special Purpose Detachment, Russian Federation. Oh, oh damn. Ah, so it's true. An educated American. We're all together. 
Explain danger of Gorm. Rugwell, lad. You remember in 2020? A meteor hit Olam. That thing in Siberia? Oh, don't tell me it wasn't a meteor, Doc. Aye. Ruskies were drilling for oil. Found what you find here. Only what they had. It was defunct. Crushed by the movement of tectonic plates. The whole thing had biomineralized. Huge cover-up. Mm. The roots were connected to a central device, a hub, a node. Part of a cosmic communications network. Powered by exotic energy. Non-baryonic matter. Negative mass. They break open and boom! 30 megaton explosion. And that one. It wasn't even bloody active. Imagine what this could do. Goodbye, Livonia? Yeah, maybe. That's if we're lucky. And if we're not? Hell, then all bets are off. You ever hear a bubble nucleation? The visions. It's the vision it! Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Livonian Defense Force, they begin. Begin what? Our mutually assured destruction. Captain, you guys have a contingency for this? There a plan? Plan? Yes, America. Only not good. We separate. Oh Three my god, teams. this is not good. There's always stupid people to start something. There's always that one guy to start something stupid. <sighs> Hopefully it's shield is one. They're way more high-end than uh, our technology, so they have all kinds of defensive techniques, of course. But still, they don't... Uh, they don't trust us uh, as much anymore now. Why you might? Not much time. Alien is giving Livonian forces hell. But danger is core. It is destructible. Weak. If it would be destroyed, all this, ash and ruin, or maybe much worse, you and I must be ready to lay down heads, American. I know, I got it. We're expendable. Move the group in, call sign Nagaika. Attack the factory. Target launches and heavy weapons. Sergeant, you just took it. One brisk, товарищ капитан. Через холм от нас. Займись им, иначе мы в полной жопе. Go, protect core. Fall out of here. Our teams have tracker beacons active. You can see on your device. I must hold position. Radio general in Kaliningrad. I saw little pulses. <laughs> Some ammo is bouncing backwards. What the heck? This is absolutely no good. Shot, sir. Over. Excellent. Let, Let us see, see how long that keeps them busy. Out. If you guys shut up, I can distract the enemy to go away from the ship. Hot. Arnelis, 
Not working out, they're too uh, distracted. They're not reacting, I don't know what to do now. There's an AA position over there. I guess it's my job to protect the, mod the, the alien ship. And I say the other ones are crazy. Is my robot on my back? Jeez. No, not even that. I'm just heavy. to hurry up, I don't know what uh, the ship's health level is. You could you could have shield issues, you know. Drunken sailors on the space. Where there's why are they so fucking idiotic to attack an alien mothership? You know your species is doomed because they're way more high-end than us. If they feel like they can bring in the planet destroyer. <gasps> it's moving! I do it. Mago will positions with the help spectral analyzer. Is that enemy forces? No, it's ours. Alright my dudes and ladies, 
Looks like this is it for this episode. Slightly longer than normal because uh, it's getting really exciting, so I know your feelings. So yeah, we uh, keep account of that. But uh, yeah, I want to keep my rules around here and uh, make one episode one hour, not more or less, because uh, it's easier on the workload. It's having six hours plus in the timeline of the video that there is. It's quite uh, hardcore. Even though the 24 gigabytes of RAM is not overflowing like an uh, overfilled uh, beer bottle. Strange. But still, it still works fine, so I keep just blowing stuff in there so I cannot reuse old stuff accidentally. So, yeah. Anyways, let's see for this one. If your cold one is not empty yet, just uh, visit another episode. Maybe there is another gaming episode, whatever. I don't know. My summer car. I finished the cold one over there. Stovepipe. It's cold outside. Stovepipe. <laughs>